Bill Breakin has conceded. yesterday just to remind myself what it was like. I wore the same tie tonight that I wore four years ago. I had the same medallion from David Kaler's high school uh, when I was in high school. I carried it with me uh, today, like I always do on big important political things. Uh, let's see. Now, four years ago, uh, my daughter Danielle was expecting, and so Oliver will be four in January. So he's in school practically in school, and Holden's now in second grade, so they couldn't be here. Holden was the secret weapon last time. Um, so he had to come in on a small break to help his campaign. Uh, so a lot's happened. That's just uh, on the, on the uh, personal side. Uh, we could not be here. I could not be standing before you without certainly all of your support, all the support of the people who came out and voted uh, today. Uh, but I have some We'll run down a list of thank yous before I make some remarks, and I, I'll just say at the beginning, if I miss someone, I apologize, uh, but at the top of the list is Carol. Uh, so I will tell you, with all due respect to every married couple in this room, there is not a more supportive or loving spouse. Uh, when our dear friend Ted uh, couldn't be as active as he usually is, uh, Carol stepped up with Suzanne and many of you to help us raise the money to get our message out. Uh, and then she helped get volunteers for you name it. And many of you <laughs> know who you are, who got the call from Carol. At some point, you got tired of seeing four, five, seven, six, two, eight, one. Pop up. <laughs> I know that. Uh, but uh, Carol is phenomenal. And so, a little token of my appreciation. So, for all of you who are wondering if that was my ideas or someone on the campaigns, this was my idea. I called Andy yesterday and said, I need flowers. So, uh, my parents, uh, Dad is here tonight. Uh, Obviously, a lot of you know that mom passed away this summer, uh, but dad and mom, when we were kids, were always the first people to vote in a precinct, like every time. They were the first, I mean, I didn't care what, and they were up on Bodart 30 to vote at Central High School. Uh, so dad's with us tonight. Dad is, dad knows as much about going on, what's going on in the city as anyone else. He follows current events like crazy. I get quizzed uh, week in and week out, uh, and dad came out and voted with us today, and certainly uh, we appreciate his, his love and support. Yeah. I'm sure mom's looking down with a big smile on her face. And uh, mom was the one. Much to my chagrin, mom would more than anyone drop the M word. Whether it was at the grocery or a restaurant, my son's the mayor. <laughs> Expecting better service. <laughs> Sometimes it didn't always work. It's good to see my Uncle Bob and Aunt Mary. My sister Joycelyn's here from Chicago. Joycelyn's like the most loving and supportive sister. My sister from uh, Denver couldn't be here with her daughter. Uh, Steve and Danielle are in Tucson. We've texted multiple times. Uh, my phone's ready to blow up. Uh, but obviously we, we miss them and are grateful for them. Um, there's their love and support. Campaign, well, Barbara's Barbara Keller, she's over there somewhere. Uh, she kind of herded all the, she's back here. Barbara kind of herded all the cats and there were a lot of cats to herd. And we, we appreciate
appreciate that. And if you liked all the great commercials that we ran, and I think there were seven of them, three of them were at her house. Beyond the volunteers, we have a great campaign staff, uh, Matt and Mandy and Brad and Pam, Samantha, Dale, Jerome, Josh. Um, we have some great consultants, Kevin and Cam and Rob. They're all here tonight. If you like the TV commercials, Rob, the creator, director, mastermind is here tonight. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate that. There's a... Uh, Gosh, there's little man. Where's little man? Little man. He's at. He's at the revival. Oh, he's at a revival. Okay, well. <laughs> let it be known that I talked about little man and Sharon and Tommy. Thank you so much. Um, just phenomenal group. Uh, Sandra, uh, Russ Lloyd, Suzanne Crouch, uh, Ted Zemer went with us today, and that was a real great treat. Ted's job every time I run for office was to drive me around. He hung out with us for six or seven hours a day. Couldn't be here tonight, but it was great to be with him, with Ted tonight. Uh, I have a great office staff in the mayor's office, um, headed up by uh, arguably the little brother I never had, Steve Schaefer. <laughs> in a word, uh, in a word, Steve Super. He truly is, as is the whole staff. Uh, uh, Ella Johnson Watson, our communications director. Uh, I've known Ella since college, and she has a great relationship with the media, does a great job for us. Uh, Marianne Cox, arguably the second most important woman in my life, Dionne Carroll. Who <laughs> takes all of the requests that we get and uh, somehow makes them work for me. And then Sheila Spencer, where is Sheila? I thought I saw Sheila. Okay, so from time to time we get complaints in the mayor's office. <laughs> and uh, Sheila takes them, and then she makes sense of them and gets them to the right person. So anyway, uh, a special thanks to the wonderful team in the mayor's office that helped me to do it, um, and then all of you in the room. Um, I did receive a, a call a short time ago from Representative Breakin. I appreciated her gracious call. Uh, she thanked me for a spirited campaign, and, and I. Uh, Thanked her likewise. I do appreciate the, her commitment to our community and her desire to make Evansville better. So I appreciate her call, and uh, we should all be appreciative. <laughs> Special congratulations to all the council members elect. I look forward to working with all of you, no matter your party. My open door policy will continue in a second term. I'm willing to work with anyone, anyone that's. Uh, willing to work together for the betterment of our community. This election was more than just electing a mayor or a new city council. It was a referendum on positive progress in the city of Atlanta. Clearly, the citizens of Evansville have a new energy and a new enthusiasm, and they want our city to continue moving in the right direction. Make no mistake, make, make, make no mistake, Evansville is a strong city, and we will continue to be a strong city. Four years ago, I said that the campaign we ran then would be about what we would do with the trust voters placed in us. I said our campaign's focus would be squarely on how we would go. I'm a, my commitment then, and the one that I renew with you tonight, is that we will never forget who we work for. I believe our administration has embodied that in every decision made, in every initiative pursued over these last four years. And I promise you tonight that we'll carry that same principle into the next four years. One thing I said four years ago remains true tonight. Mayor of Evansville is not a one-person job. The work we must do for our neighbors requires the biggest team we can assemble, one made up of every resident who cares about Evansville and its future. What success we have is rooted in this community's commitment to each other. The next four years holds the kind of challenges and opportunities that will chart Evansville's future for the next decade and beyond. The achievements of the last four years are a great start, but we're not done, not by a long shot.
We must continue to find new ways to market Evansville to job creators and to fill the job opportunities that are currently available in the city. We must continue to focus on quality of life so employers and employees alike want to invest in Evansville. And we must continue to provide public safety with the tools they need to keep Evansville a safe city. And we must never forget that our identity as a city is one rooted in pride, one rooted in optimism, about the, and about the possibilities of a shared future. Thank you all again for the confidence you've placed in me and for all of you, all of you done to make the next four years possible. Serving as your mayor is the honor of a lifetime. To have the chance to do it again for four more years is an awesome and humbling responsibility, one that I will cherish. As for tomorrow, well, it's another day in City Hall. Okay, maybe I'll be in a little later. Than you <laughs> but city services never stop, and our residents don't expect anything else. Our job never ends, and I love that. May God bless each of you who have helped us. May God bless the city of Evansville, and uh, thanks for being here tonight to share this great. Time. <laughs>